Did you know that every year millions of hectares of forests are cut down to produce paper? Pine, eucalyptus, and oak trees take decades to mature, yet they are harvested in just a few hours. This leads to environmental degradation, ecological imbalance, and the release of large amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. Meanwhile, bamboo, a plant that grows 10 times faster than traditional trees, absorbs high levels of CO2 and regenerates naturally without the need for replanting, could be a revolutionary solution for the paper industry. But is bamboo paper truly superior to wood-based paper? Is the manufacturing technology advanced enough to turn bamboo into a sustainable, efficient, and pollution-free raw material? Today, we'll explore the optimized bamboo paper production process, one that is not only environmentally friendly, but also resource efficient and has the potential to completely replace wood-based paper. The first major difference between wood and bamboo is growth speed. While a tree takes 10 to 30 years to reach harvesting age, bamboo only needs three to five years. Additionally, after harvesting, trees require significant resources for replanting, whereas bamboo can regenerate naturally. By keeping the roots intact, new shoots, also known as bamboo sprouts, will grow quickly without the need for replanting. This makes bamboo harvesting far more sustainable. However, not all bamboo can be used for papermaking. To ensure high quality pulp, we must select bamboo plants that are three to five years old, neither too young nor too mature. Young bamboo contains too much water and lacks fully developed cellulose, while older bamboo has a high linen content, which lowers the quality of the paper. After harvesting, bamboo can either be transported as whole stalks to the factory for further processing or chipped into small pieces at the harvesting site. The latter method is more common today as it optimizes truck space and reduces transportation costs. Chipping bamboo at the source is a crucial step because smaller pieces have a larger surface area, allowing for more efficient pretreatment processes such as steaming, chemical treatment, or enzyme application. Moreover, uniformly sized chips ensure consistent pulp cooking, preventing undercooked or overheated sections that could compromise paper quality. At the factory, the bamboo chips undergo pretreatment before being turned into pulp. One of the most widely used techniques is steam explosion, a high pressure steam treatment that softens the bamboo fibers, breaks down lignin structures, and minimizes the need for chemicals in later stages. After pretreatment, the bamboo is fed into a rough grinding machine where sharp blades cut it into fine fibers. These fibers are then sent to the pulping stage one of the most critical steps in the production process. In traditional papermaking, the craft pulping process is commonly used. This method involves sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and sodium sulfide, inner Na subscript 2S, to break down lignin and extract cellulose. While effective, it produces large amounts of alkaline waste, which can pollute water sources. For bamboo, however, we have a more advanced solution, biopulping technology. Some modern factories use microorganisms or enzymes to break down lignin naturally. This significantly reduces energy consumption, aligns with green paper making trends, and minimizes environmental impact. Next, the bamboo pulp undergoes the cooking process. Here, an innovative method called organosolve technology is used to separate lignin. Lignin is an undesirable component in paper production because it causes yellowing over time and affects paper quality. Instead of harsh chemicals, this process uses organic solvents, such as ethanol, acetone, or organic acids, which can be recycled up to 90%. This not only reduces pollution, but also lowers production costs. Once the cooking process is complete, the pulp is washed and filtered to remove residual lignin and impurities. If white paper is needed, the pulp undergoes chlorine-free bleaching, TCF or ECF methods, to ensure environmental safety. The next step is pulp refining, a critical phase that enhances the mechanical properties of the paper. This process strengthens the cellulose fiber bonds, improving paper durability and strength. If necessary, additives such as starch, rosin, or bioenzymes may be introduced to enhance water resistance smoothness, or mechanical durability. After refining, 
The pulp is diluted with water and spread onto a continuous wire mesh conveyor. At this stage, water starts draining, allowing cellulose fibers to bond and form a wet paper sheet. This sheet is then pressed to remove excess water and enhance fiber cohesion. Next, the wet paper undergoes steam drying, which eliminates residual moisture. If a smooth or glossy finish is required, the paper passes through calendar rollers to achieve a uniform surface quality. Finally, the finished paper is cut into standard sizes and either rolled into large reels or trimmed into sheets, ready for use in printing, office supplies, or packaging. After completing the process, bamboo paper is packaged and distributed, offering a more sustainable and eco-friendly alternative to traditional wood-based paper. So, is bamboo paper truly superior to wood-based paper? Let's take a closer look. In terms of resource regeneration speed, bamboo takes only three to five years to be harvested, whereas trees require at least 10 to 30 years. Regarding the production process, bamboo papermaking reduces the use of harmful chemicals, making it more environmentally friendly. Additionally, bamboo paper offers better quality, it is stronger, more durable, and less prone to yellowing over time. However, bamboo paper production still faces challenges. The initial investment costs are high, and technological advancements are needed to compete with the well-established wood-based paper industry. What do you think about bamboo paper? Could it completely replace traditional wood-based paper in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights.